Hi there, no uh, no intro today. No intro screen. I'm just going to get right into it. We're just gonna play the game. I just have to move my window. I'm playing Spongebob game at night. Oh, I heard something about Wormy. Mm, okay, get some, get some real quick frames. Just pick up a couple while we're out. So now we go to Gulagoon. Let's go. Let's go to the lagoon. Oh wait. I meant to make a little adjustment. Benched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. It shines. So the stinky mud puddle. Gua Lagoon. The beach. Heard it said that life is one of those. So welcome. I'm going to be on going on a small, like week long hiatus. In a bat on Saturday, so I I'm breaking my usual rule of don't stream at this hour. Yes, a white shirt. Because it's the pizza for you and me. I don't know, I had it, so I figured I would wear it. Monsoon, watch out for his lightning attack. This sand is really bright. So they gave that guy a different look. So I have the bubble bowl now. So that should affect something. Burned. Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles. That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly. You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out Super on the island. Hot. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers, then all you have to I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh can't swim. Okay, so it's time to do this puzzle again. I like what they did with the goo, though. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Looks a lot like the show. If only I could cruise boost. But alas, it is not to be.
Maybe this game is hiding something even better than cruise boosting. Well, considering that Shift managed to beat it in three minutes, I think it is. <laughs> Once I beat this game, I'm gonna have to watch his video to see how that's even possible. Gotta be like a wrong warp or something. Maybe there's some kind of, uh, debug. Maybe there's some kind of, like, debug trigger to go straight to the final boss and he figured out how to get to it. That would be something very in the spirit of the original. Okay, now we've, we've done all we can do with this. Also, we confirmed in between streams that there are indeed unused voice clips that are being used in the remake. So that's cool. Don't know why they were taken out in the first place, but... Man, it's cool. There's like, like I said, there's a brief moment where, where you uh, can't really, where the directions are messed up, like they're not uh, aligned with the camera. And you can just go ahead and tell me, and it doesn't really matter. I just didn't want to watch a video and see the areas that I haven't been to yet. Two A presses in a single frame. You speak of madness. Floating beach towel challenge. Keyboard, keyboard plus gamepad on the map screen. Well, you're right, that is dumb. <laughs> Have you been lonely out there all alone? Tartar sauce! <laughs> well, I messed up. I goofed it. But I still get to keep what I have done. Yeah, I have a feeling that that's gonna get patched out. And honestly, I I'm probably for it. Like, as funny as it is that you can beat the game that quickly, I'm sure for speedrun- even for speedrunners, it's not really that interesting. Rain, rain, go away. Go low, SpongeBob's still chatting up a storm, I see. Getting some Sonic Heroes level of talking. Yeah, you're- you're supposed to let that fall, and I didn't realize that in time. Children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Okay, well, that's not as particular as it was in the original. I can say that much for certain.
I'm cool with that. <laughs> That's a change I'm fine with. Is I love opening presents another unused one. I don't know. I got no earthly idea. There's something ironic about that. Okay, I think, is that the last one? Where, where are you going? Which direction are you going? Okie doke. Oh, hey, and they're actually My sitting here. Hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Another achievement. Good, good. Can I, uh, can I get over there? No! Maybe this will take me to a checkpoint. Yes. Okay, that was a little weird. Something, something happened there. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it, it happened. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Um, that's not an appropriate voice clip for this enemy. <laughs> Game may not be balanced with itself in some sounds. So, like, what do you mean? Do you want me to turn the, uh... The music up a little bit. Or the sounds down. Oh no, my settings are good. Okie dokie. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes! We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right! That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. You know, what might have been a good idea would be to show the water, like, not coming out of it at first, and then it starts flowing out. I mean, that's more work, but I feel like it would better communicate what's going on. Oh, no. Alright, come back here with Patrick. I fell.
That's not the way you want to play the game. There we go. Now we got it. We got it all settled. Go down there in a little bit. Get a mission. Do a mission. Be a mission. Be omitted. From what I don't know. Be omitted from uh, supplying your voice to this game. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. It was actually me. I played Mr. Krabs the entire time. Clancy Green was me the entire time. Now, you might ask yourself how that's chronologically possible, and to that I say, uh, sh shut up. What's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. Okay, so now that I've started that, I want to go back and do that one mission. That one little, little side area. I mean, they didn't say that Squidward bought the sweater here. They just said that he bought one. Squidward's not even here right now. He's off doing God knows what. I may have undershot that jump a little bit. May not have given it the oomph it required. Oh, also need to go get that sock as Patrick. You know, I should probably just go back, be Patrick, and then do this. I'm pretty sure you need to be Patrick for this, too. Either that or it doesn't matter. Because I, I don't know, I just remember doing it as Patrick is what I'm getting at. Now where was one of the bus stops? Was it in... It was in here, wasn't it? Oh, well that... <laughs> that wasn't good. Is there one in here? Yeah, right here. Okay, so we'll go do that now. That's the appropriate character for the job. Pardon me, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's, it's later than normal, so I'm gonna be a little... Probably gonna be a little dry tonight. <laughs> That's fine. Dry, dry comedy is the way of the gods. Or so have I, I've been told, at least. I don't know. Um, I need to trigger the, the goo. How do I how do I trigger the goo? It's not coming out. It's not coming out, mate. Goo is not happening. Well, this, this presents a problem. <laughs> I 
Is it like a is it a Patrick thing? I'm trying to see, is there any way I can get in there without it? Without uh without having to raise the goo. Yeah. And there it was. Right there in front of us the entire time. Okay, that guy just popped right in. There we go. Now we made it. I don't know what all that was about a second ago. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. I wonder if it's possible to get Patrick to slide into the goo after collecting a spatula. Okay, let's, let's go back to the plot. Well, not the plot, the main scenario. The main adventure. You just met the Spongenator. No, wait, wait. Okay, there's a sock down here. Oh. Now, I don't remember how to get up there. We'll find out at some point. Probably. Oh, I like what they did with the central island there. Okay, sink, please. Ready. Can take it. Oh, you can also do you can also do it out of a fall. So that's interesting. I guess you use these flying tiki's probably. The watermelon is here, just in case you get up here as Patrick, so you'll have a way to defeat the, the monsoon. It's possible. I feel like a new sponge. I gotta look out for the cave drawings. I remember those. I see jellyfish, but do we have anything else? I know there's like a sock over here. Someplace. Does the pause menu tell you how many socks you... Yes. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so you can just do that, which saves a lot of time, saves a lot of waiting around. Yeah, right there, that's where the sock be.
Was there always doodles of prehistoric, prehistoric Patrick? Yeah, that's about how it was in the original, I believe. Though they did add some cameos to this one. There's a specific one that I've told at least one friend about that we're gonna see later. Okay, now, before we talk to Mr. Krabs, I'm gonna go back really quick. And use this to get that sock that I desire. Alright. Sock achieved. How does Patrick even wear a sock? I mean, I guess that's the least of this show's sock related problems. The Flying Dutchman wears a sock and he doesn't have feet. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. All right, go into the carnival. No, not the overlaying music. My worst enemy. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. Will do. The carnival is probably one of my favorite areas in the game. But I, I think I just kind of like carnival levels in most video games. You know, as long as you don't have to stand on a barrel. <laughs> you gotta love the bootleg wipeout that plays in this level. Like Kawabunga, my we'll dude. Yeah, it's the, the stand on everything collision's still here to at least some capacity. Maybe not as much, but the spirit of it is there. Oh, this one goes boom. Now, like, I was a b I saw this and I thought, hmm, do I want to change characters? And then I remembered that this is- that's the wrong Spongebob game. Not right one. 
I mean, I'd be down for a movie game remake, but I doubt it'll happen. Oh, do they not have the noises? Hang on. Mystery must be solved. Purple lamp. Now listen to me. Now, purple lamp. I like to think I have been very forgiving up until this point. But, son, fix this immediately. Or else I will have to get out the belt. That one looks mighty gold. Purple lamp, by God, behave yourself, or I will give you a taste of my shoe. This feels harder than it normally is. Couldn't you toss a robot? Perhaps! That's much better. I will not deny this possibility. Oh, that's for the bungee. I was like, was there was there always a spatula right there? And the answer is yes, yes there was. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Hey, this is mine! <laughs> I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oh, hey, this is mine. There we go. There we go. Well, let's take care of this first. Oh, watermelon physics. We got watermelon physics. Okay, that's a cool ground pound that doesn't work. Get bumper boats cleared. We'll have to go back to crabs in a minute. Let's activate the box to make it easier to do so. Something about the movement speed in this game feels like slightly slower than the original, even though I know it's probably not. Honestly though, thinking about it, I, I'm, I, I want to see more licensed game remakes. Like, let's, let's get them going. A wider screen resolution might do that to you. Yeah, I guess it could be the screen resolution. The, the FOV. But yeah, I want to see, see more licensed game remakes. Which ones can we get? I, I want to see Aladdin, both of them. Get, get on it. Make make Darkwing Duck remastered. Why didn't we get that? 
That's much better. Tron to Life SpongeBob Edition. I don't think that would work quite as well on not the DS. Here is your reward. Lego Racers. Yeah, maybe. They tried making a sequel to that one, but it didn't quite work out, from what I understand. Haven't heard rave reviews about we LEGO Racers 2. <laughs> Forza Horizons LEGO crossover. No, no. I, I say it does count. I, I think this makes Forza Horizons LEGO Racers 3. Also, I had LEGO Racers 2 as a kid and not the original, and I thought it was okay. Admittedly, take what I just said with a grain of salt, because I, I think I have it, but I played it like a total of one time for 10 minutes and then never touched it again, so... I'm probably not an authority on whether or not LEGO Racers 2 is any good. Just going by... Just going by the hearsay, what I've, what I've picked up from the grapevine. What if this game had fall damage? Like, what if SpongeBob just landed flat on his face? I love opening presents. Fall damage doesn't make much sense underwater, though. Maybe if you fall on the water. Yeah, it's a little quiet. I don't know if that's a code thing or like, you know, an actual mixing issue. Was there anything to actually do on this slide? Was it just kind of there? I don't, rem I don't remember. This remix testing what I actually remember about Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is most of it. But there are some things that are slipping through the cracks here. I've noticed. I've noticed a couple. What says the map spatulas? No, we're 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 good. I forgot that was a thing for a second. Oh yeah, that wouldn't totally reveal the socks unless I was just like... Well, I mean, it wouldn't tell me where the socks were. Yeah, I have a feeling... Yeah, I have a feeling the really loud sound effects are because all the robots are making that sound as they spawn in, and the game isn't employing any sort of directional audio. Also, we got all the socks anyway, so it's a moot point. Was there always one that took you back here? If not, that's a that's a nice new feature. And if there was, then uh disregard. <laughs> Another achievement. Let's go talk to Larry and get our last spatula. SpongeBob, you're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. But yeah, this game has had like a couple little mixing issues. Like I noticed that the audio during the Poseidon cutscene was a little low. Okay, so normally in in my last playthrough. <laughs> Patrick, Mr. Krabs. This game definitely needed more time in the oven. Well, hopefully the patches fix some of the issues I've been having. 
because they did they did confirm that patches more patches are on the way so normally this would be the part where I'd fight robot Sandy but I already did that so which level is next chronologically admittedly this map doesn't make that abundantly clear <laughs> Yeah, Sonic Mania still got some game-breaking bugs, but, you know, whatever. Look, man, I, w I would obviously prefer if games were perfect right out of the gate. Let's see, 30, 25. I mean, technically the Mermelayer is free. So, I don't know if it's Mermelayer or Rock Bottom. I feel like I remember thinking it was Mermelayer. And then it actually being rock bottom. So I'm just gonna go to rock bottom. So you, you guys can hear the line. Say the line, Welcome Bart. To the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t shirts. Not a bug, but I immediately thought of the overzealous squish physics. Yeah, that, I mean, that's technically just a quirk of the engine. I never noticed before the remake that the fish pees itself. I mean, admittedly, it's a bit harder to see in the original, oh, but... SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to! Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Was that the line? Was that what you guys were waiting for? Yet, I, I would personally, I would have given her a more angry facial expression for that. But then again, she didn't have a particularly appropriate facial expression in the original either. So I can't be too angry. Oh yeah, that's right. They get rid of your, uh, they get rid of your, uh, bubble bowl. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Now see there, that's where you're supposed to say the line. Bart. I've been binge watching The Simpsons lately, so I actually it's know funny. the context behind that line now. So that's a... That's a funny little thing. Yeah, I'm talking about The Simpsons during Spongebob game, what of it? Was it a good episode? Yeah, it was alright. I mean, I wouldn't say it was like my favorite simp, simp episode, but you know, it was fine. Enjoyable. Either way, there's yellow characters. You got me there. Sponge. Who lives in a middle class home in Springfield? Say, Homer Bob Simpson. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? <laughs> okay, purple lamp. I'm starting to forgive you. Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. I do appreciate that they went to the trouble of giving SpongeBob the There's items like he offhandedly of mentions in the, in the dialogue. It smells like victory.
I do appreciate that there's just a, a tiptoe button. That's a good feature. There probably could have been one on the Xbox version, but probably not GameCube. Good chat message, Lincoln. I'm not going to read the whole thing out, but... It's a good message. We're walking very hard to fix the SpongeBob we make. Yeah, some of these lines are unused, but some are just, uh... Probably not in the GameCube version because that's the storage space limited version. Because Nintendo was like, hey, we're gonna use tiny DVDs. Which, granted, I know the physical size doesn't mean anything about the storage capacity, but it does now, or it did then. It, it doesn't now, but it did then. <laughs> now, now you can store a Switch game that's like eight times the size in a, something this big. Ain't technology just astounding? <laughs> Speaking of the Switch... Uh, the Switch version of this game, I've heard, is a very mixed affair. Like, for some reason, it runs at, like, it hovers around, like, 40 frames per second. I mean, at that point, like, I probably just would have, like, locked it to 30 and called it a day. Or, if nothing else, giving somebody the option. Surprisingly, though, the performance is not that different that I saw between handheld and docked mode. Like, I mean, obviously handheld still has a bit of a hit, but I thought it would be worse than it was. Point is, I'd say probably just lock the frame rate to 30 FPS. I mean, obviously I'm here on PC enjoying my, uh, my 60, but... I guess we do gotta also understand that the Switch is not quite as much of a powerhouse as its competition. <laughs> not to mention it's slightly underclocked in order to allow it to play these games without getting too hot. Yeah, the, the tiptoe button makes these guys just like 10 times less stressful to deal with. Ouch. Ow. I feel like a new sponge. Hello, ma'am. Where do you go for this? This mission. Probably makes the unstable moving platforms infinitely less stressing as well. Yeah, pretty much. Because now you know that you're not going to accidentally go too fast unless the game just bugs out on you. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... I mean, I've never been crazy about 3D games that force you to, uh, tiptoe. I mean, Mario 64 is guilty of that, too. Well, not exactly forcing you, but it does make life a little bit harder if you don't. 
though I understand they were uh, they were really excited about their new analog their new analog control scheme they just they really wanted you to know and then Mario 64 DS was like no nah, we don't need any of that all right guys uh, gonna paint a picture for you here alternate timeline right you know alternate universe where different things happened Battle for Bikini Bottom DS. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm, I'm just going to offhandedly mention it. I'm just gonna drop the name and leave it. Someone better make good use of all these. I mean, there was a battle for Bikini Bottom GBA that was an entirely different game. Hmm. I think I was supposed to hit a button that I didn't hit. <laughs> Such as this one, for instance. I mean, Sandy can just do this. So does it even really matter? What's funny, Battle for Bikini Bottom, GBA, and PC were both entirely different games from the console ones. And now I'm playing, like, actual Battle for Bikini Bottom on the PC. It, it really shows you where the reputation and perspective of 3D... Well, not 3D, PC games has gone. You know, I, I could just, like, lasso onto it from there. But there was a point where I think they just thought that PCs weren't suited for this kind of game. Oh, I forgot. I forgot this game is different. Gotta hold it instead of just pressing. Gotta remember that. Oh. Okay, that's better. Maybe the engine they were programming it in wasn't suitable for PC. I mean, yeah, that's another factor. Is that I think just PC technology in general has just gotten better and better. I have no idea what that switch did. <laughs> Maybe it spawned this platform. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Not as good as Texas. Oh yeah, that's that's just a lot more flexible. Uh, the box is clipping through the ground here, or maybe it would be more suitable to say that the ground is clipping through the box. I don't know. Both are technically true. You on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the golden spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this... Is that the original line? Solved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir. That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. 
Also, I like that this SpongeBob licensed game just casually drops that Barnable, Barnacle Boy has children. I mean, it's not that shocking, but it's it's just still a bizarre fact to hear in this of all places. Okay, so we got we got this. We got some art piece. They did they did a lot of changing with the art. Some modifications were made. This is an unfortunate predicament. It's the equivalent to that Ocarina of Time mishap. <laughs> By Timmy H H6. Oh man, lightning and a heat wave. That is, uh, not good. <laughs> not good. Okay, that's, that's not gonna be safe yet, okay. I'm in the base. Just my size. Good job, SpongeBob, me boy. Now you have to find Metal Gear. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Ahoy, Spongebob! Memes are the DNA of the soul! You just met the Spongeinator! Solo Rafa! That, like, almost birth of Adam. <laughs> Good art that I'm seeing here. And what did that switch do? Is there another? Oh, there's another I missed. Not even bother. This music wouldn't be out of place in a sci fi FPS. <laughs> yeah, I know. This game's got intense music for SpongeBob game. Also, this is neat. It's look, it's the original models. Ow. 
they, they made the platforms drop less instantly, which unfortunately diminishes a little bit of their impact. I was doing that because I didn't want to blow it up. I did not want it to blow up. But it was kind of moot. I mean, these guys are, are animated, so I think that's just actual old people. Rain, rain, go away. I feel like a new sponge. Ah, uh, yeah, the SpongeBob coming. Oh! You guys remember Nick Magazine? Y you guys ever get get Nick Mag? I got Nick Mag a couple times. I didn't have a subscription, but I would go into like the local grocery store and get them off the shelf. I mean, the age of magazines in general is just seemingly ending, if it's not already over as it is. But I, I gotta say, I held on to Nintendo power, like, to its dying breath. That's the one magazine I did have a subscription to. And yeah, in the age of the internet, eventually, it would end up being kind of outdated and- oh no, that's Birth of Adam. Spongebob comics were weird in that they would sometimes just take screenshots from an episode, add speech bubbles, and call it a comic strip. Like yeah, that sounds a little lazy. Pardon me. Oh, there's Bold and Brash over there. But I, I don't think that one belongs in this collection. So, which box is this linked to? Uh, right down here. Not all visual gags translate well to printed format. One thing I always love is when games have a variable idle animations, like depending on the situation. Like I appreciate that uh, Spongebob looks scared in rock bottom. <laughs> Oh, a SpongeBob. I messed up the same jump five times in a row, and now me stream has gone on for six hours. and France and lightning clouds. <laughs> Patience, dear guy. I'll take it easy when I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. I, I like, I took the jump and then I was, mm, I don't know, I'm not feeling that. I feel like these platforms have gone slightly out of sync. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just very paranoid.
you know what would be cool is if they added a way for you to like play the game with the old models like how Wonder Boy allowed you to switch to the Master System graphics on the fly. Well, I, I might have made a mistake here, but... But I can probably just become Sandy and deal with it. Anything hidden, hidden in behind there? Oh dear! I have respawned the sleepy times, and I am going to die. Arg, 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 arg. I might have just made a mistake. <laughs> made a big mistake. But I guess it just it just be like that on occasion. No, uh, not not quite enough to make it. the museum in theory more than in practice. At least Sandy has a hover, which makes this a lot less painful. Might as well get that sock while I'm at it. Oh, the, uh... Oh, no, wait, the hooks are still there. I was about to say they were gone, but no, they're still there. Ooh, More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> no, wait, what am I... What am I lassoing to? No! You have forsaken me. You have broken our sacred bond. Now, now, what am I? What am I lassoing to? I mean, there, there's nothing over here. At least not that I can tell. Maybe it's just for the sock. I don't know. Yeah, see, you could you could never get this high in the original game. <laughs> Maybe you can, but I think it's harder. Oh. Okay, we're just spawning straight on the slide. 
I don't think that's how it was originally. Get back on. Get back on the slide. Time for a little sleepy snake. Take that! Sorry. Walk, aren't you? Oh, don't mind me, Gary. I'm just absorbing shiny objects into my bottom. Sounds dark. Okay, Gary. I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. I'll be extra, extra, extra careful, and by that I mean I'm just gonna have Sandy do it. Just gonna take a bus out of town. There's Spongebob here. Maybe I do gotta be Spongebob. It's possible. It is, it is conceivable that I may have to be SpongeBob. Yeah, because you got to do a time challenge. Okay, now you want to be Sandy. First, I'm going to go over here. Luckily, very few of these bungees have required me to do anything precise with it. So, until or if they tweak the things, I do not need the added finesse. The added precision. Captain, you best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense, I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Vermit. Okay, there's something down here. There's socks down here. Carrying Patrick may break your spine. It is not advised to do this. We're messing with Texas. Feeling refreshed. The shinier, the better. I I'm never gonna get used to that. Oh, got the art. Ew. Can't got it, we are good. Underwear. You mean that the characters, like, don't interrupt themselves? Burn to the ground! Maybe if 
I kill you, my suffering will stop. Um. Hmm? Music keeps resetting, I think. But it's hard to tell with this track. Nothing a little southern elbow grease can't handle. Okay. I feel like I may have bypassed something there. Alright, so... We gotta get Spongebob back! one up here. Okay. And the path is this way. Hmm, I, I might have made a mistake by switching back to Spongebob. I think this might be a sandy path. Because I, I don't think Spongebob can get the distance required. getting a, li a little stiff. Oh, I'm going down. To the bottom of the sea. Oh, oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. I, I may have made a few mistakes in my time. It's possible that I may have gone too far in a few places. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Sanderson path.
Seems that situation seems somewhat precarious, does it not? Okay, buy bombs. Let me just take out all of these crates. All of these tiki's, I mean to say. Definitely not Crash Bandicoot. I am... I am in a pickle. I am in a pickle because that sleepy time is bizarrely aggressive. Sticking around to suffer that guy's abuse. It shines fresh like a spring breeze. Pardon me. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! I may have been sniped. That was a targeted assassination attempt. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying attempt. It was successful. Okay, got it. How many? How are we doing on that? All sucks. So we're just missing two spatulas, which shouldn't take long to get. You know what? Let's just uh, warp, warp there. Let me stand up for a second. Piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well, now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. Oh, there's an achievement. I guess you get an achievement for 100% the level. Uh, uh. 
Yeah. Okay, so gotta be sad me for this. In fact, it might make more sense to actually work with this mission. And then, uh, switch to Sandy over here. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully that should be enough to stretch the old... The old moosles. The old vertebrae. It's not as good as Texas barbecue sauce, but really what is? It's, it's, it's not a fair comparison to make. Is this where it's supposed to start? I think that's where the mission is supposed to start. But I could be wrong because I am I'm lost. I'm lost in rock bottom and I have uh, I've paid the price. But it's okay because Sandy's grapple range is astonishingly big. And I mean, everything's big in Texas. Okay. Well, that's, better. Quiet, squirrel, that's, that's just that's just a well-known fact. Okay. You gotta like, you gotta like go in a little ahead of time. Okay, there we go. Now we should be done in rock bottom, yeah. Okay, so now what? Should we do... I mean, we still got a half hour, at least, that I would like to do. Should we just do Mermelair? Wait, how are we... How are, how are we standing? You know what? No, let's go ahead and do uh, Robo Patrick. I said I was gonna do it as soon as possible. Wow, that robot looks like Patrick, and its breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili relleno in a pan of grease. We have to help. You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob, but it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride! Great Barrier Reef! Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! The robot better change tactics Ugh, fast! That, <laughs> that mugshot they have for him is kind of low-key terrifying. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. Hmm. Not quite as good as the original. And the robot is down. Great barrier reef. They they really changed a lot about Robo Patrick's design. Oh, and the robot is down. Mostly making him look more like actual Patrick. Get ready for a hot 
Twister, Texas style. What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob on Frozen? Great Barrier Reef! I do really like uh, the skulls on his pants, though. Were those always there? Oh, and the robot is down! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Do si do, and around you go! That hot goo could melt anything! Oh, that's got a sting! do si do and around you go! Ah, he said it. He said the line. Ew. can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob oh, underwear! Oh, the robot is down! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring! Okay, come on, come on. Eh. Not sure why these uh boss cutscenes are so quiet. Oh okay. Great barrier reef. Oh I don't know why I did that. Oh well. That does it! SpongeBob is back in the fight! Do and around you go. Ow. Fresh like a spring breeze. Great barrier reef. Fresh like a Dyna blade. I see a prime bowling moment right here. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. That's got a sting. But nothing hit me. And around you go. I don't think. I see a prime bowling moment right here. Strike. I do appreciate how they made uh, the bowling for hitting his back less annoying. Like it just floats along the water. I see a prime bowling moment right here. Okay, the achievement is toxic terror. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. A lot of toilet humor in this game. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chub bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. Okay, so now we have the cruise bubble. And thus, SpongeBob's move set is now complete. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. SpongeBob's mission control, the launch is a go. Solo Rondo! 
Nope, guys, it's no good. No good. Oh, the controls are inverted. Now they're not inverted. It's ominous. Bubble buddy, I got the next move you teach. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press. Wow. Aim carefully, though. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Don't worry, we got the gist of it. Uh, there was no Hans there. I'm the king of the world. Or at least of the bucket. Okay, got an achievement for that one. Yeah, this is a this is a big chum bucket. Wow, six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. I feel like a new sponge. So we have max What's health wrong, now. Mr. Krabs, you don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out, and worse. They've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! I feel like I should be working. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Oh, lasers. That I'm somehow not taking damage from. Oh, that's right. You can do... Could you do that before? That I might be thinking of the movie. The movie game. Okay, all, all is sorted. Mime is still here.
But this time there's actually people in here. I don't think it was like that before. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think if you clear out the Krusty Krab, you get a sock. Yep, there you go. Got an achievement, Sock Concert. I feel like that's a pun Miles will approve of. Okay, now I have been requested to do something very important, so I will do that. Just to make sure I do not forget. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't know, since we still have about 20 minutes left before the two-hour mark, and since this is probably the last chance I'm going to get for a little bit to do this, I mean, maybe. Maybe tomorrow, but I'm not sure. I'll probably just go ahead and do Mermelair. There you go. Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh. But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? It looks very 2D, but it is in fact 3D. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild! Triton.
It feels so weird for this game to have any post-movie references in it. But it sure does. Evil! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick said on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system! It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments! Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room! She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Buenos dias, Mermaid Man. Like a spring breeze. Oh, finally, the HD disco took floor. It is all as I have always dreamed it would be. Coming at ya. And we can just do this since I have the cruise bubble. Uh, am I supposed to get a sock for doing that? Well, if I'm missing a sock, I know where to look. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Oh, they gave him a new look. Made him a lot angrier looking. This guy was always weird to deal with. Because you have to like chase him three different times. So the Easter egg where you make the computers have an error doesn't seem to be present. And was, was this always here? I think I hit where you're supposed to, it's just that you're supposed to do it like this. Ah yes, the... The bowling switches are just as awkward as in the original.
can't sit in the seat. Zero out of ten. So this is probably where you're supposed to get your first real experience with the bubble bowl, but... Oh well. To the main chamber. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Yeah, I remember this bridge being a particularly large obstacle for anyone trying to beat the game without getting the moves. There's a challenge where you beat the original as just SpongeBob. But since you're just SpongeBob and you're never allowed to become anyone else, <laughs> you don't get any of the moves. So Mermelair is basically inaccessible. You can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. I don't think I'll ever not laugh at I tend to explode. Explode is just a funny word when you when it really comes down to it. Patrick is facing the wrong way. Hmm. We're gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. All right. Now for this mission. Woo, up 
we go! No, I messed that up. It's one of those, it's one of those puzzles, you know, like, like back in Final Egg. Because of this mission, we at IGN will have to give this game a 2 out of 10. Wait, 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 wait. I might got it. Nope, don't got it. I got four unturned, which is not a good number for it to be on. Activating my brain powers. Okay, we're gonna reset. What this does. Now here's my plan. I'm gonna hit the diagonals.
I don't think this has gotten me anywhere particularly helpful. One day I'll get it. And it'll it'll be good. It'll be a fine moment in history. And that moment is right now. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! That interaction maybe went slightly awkwardly. Perhaps just a bit. Bridge activated. But at what cost? Well, not not really any cost. I don't know why you're asking about that. It shines! Oh, it's that sound effect. There we go. I feel like a new sponge. Left wall jump activated. Finally, right. Yes, all the directions that we need have finally been activated. Fresh like a spring breeze. SpongeBob wasn't even touching the other wall. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Oh, there's no... There's no Barnacle Boy inside the computer. I mean, I, mean, I can't say that for sure, because I can't get in, but...
but I'm willing to bet there's not a Barnacle Boy in there. Also, does the does the prawn does the prawn skip still work? No. <laughs> Didn't think it would, but I was kind of hoping. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. If I continue along this linear path, I'm sure I will find where I'm meant to go. This tiki did not exactly reappear correctly. since we heard that one. Alright, we're speed running. We're getting through this quick. That was part of the speed run. Feel like a new sponge. I love opening presents. Fresh like a spring breeze. Damage doesn't matter as long as speed is attained. I feel like a new sponge. Bolo Rama. It shines. Isn't that just a fine kettle of fish? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. The things I do for a sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. There we go. Alright, here we go. 
This is the part. As much as I love this game, I pretty much never want SpongeBob to be in Smash ever. Not specifically because, you know, anything to do with SpongeBob, but because of what that would represent. Which is to say, complete global anarchy. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Look, boy! There's gold under that glass! Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it! All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble I never up realized that was wordplay before. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> Uh. What do you do with this again? Oh no, wait, that's that. So what do you do about this? I don't remember. Oh, I guess that. Oh, did I do that too soon? I feel like I did that too soon. Yep, too soon, too soon, too soon. Fell into the pit. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think he needs a hand. Somehow. In order for the ball to reach the end. You'll have to move. Let me just uh, get in there. I didn't think that would spawn the ball. I'm going to keep it real with you. Whoever at Heavy Iron came up with this mission, I don't even know, man. I want to say something clever about it, but I can't. Mm-hmm. Okay, scoop successful. Okay, now wait. For about there. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Opening 
fighting peasants. All right, come on. Come on. Yes! Are we not, are we done yet? We weren't done yet. Not even bothering with that guy. No, 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 no. And you get an achievement just for that. <laughs> Gain control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. system has been shut down and we got a good checkup hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory yeah well justice boy you also cut the power to the mermelayer's bcs that's villain containment system is that bad does mermaid man smell like sour milk yes yes i do oh no it looks like one of the villains is broken free what's that an evil doer on the loose who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Uh, 
Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Prawn. That guy that was totally in the show. There's nothing like the smell um, of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... The disco floor is also very quiet, which I'm, I'm vaguely sad about. Yeah, this this fight is still as awkward as it was in the original. Same level. There we go. No, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? <laughs> oh, two achievement. I like what they did with that cutscene. Alright, only four socks in this level, which is surprising. But we did it. Oh, did I not did I not collect the spatula for this? <laughs> I feel like I should be working. Phew! You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take <laughs> this ar, 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 ar. Yes, SpongeBob, I was very worried when you went into the Krusty Krab and didn't come back for uh, about an hour. <laughs> ah! So, 
next time, possibly in about a week from now. Roughly. I will end up doing Sand Mountain. I love opening presents. Thank you for showing up to late night SpongeBob. The graveyard shift. <laughs> 